September 14, 1814, not long after their victory in Washington, D.C., British troops are hammering Fort McHenry. Bombs, rockets, the lot, all night long. But by dawn, a 35-year-old lawyer was stunned to see the American flag still flying above the fort. It was a turning point in the War of 1812. And that lawyer, Francis Scott Key, was inspired to write the poem that became the song that became the preamble to every sporting event in America. And in 1931, it became our national anthem. Jenna Elsenheimer knows the song pretty well. She's performed the anthem more than 100 times, including five times before Detroit Tigers baseball games. Five. The first time was when I was 12, and that was really great because it was on Father's Day. And um, the last time I did it was right, right at the end of eighth grade. That was this past spring. Today, students at Platte River Elementary held a program celebrating our national anthem. Every verse in that song has something to teach us. And so it's been really fun to unpack the song line by line and really help the kids to understand what it is that we sing at the beginning of every sporting event. It's a beautiful piece of music. It's also a challenging piece of music just because of the range for singers and instrumentalists. So it, it can be a challenging piece to perform. I get a little nervous before I sing, but I guess the biggest challenge is trying not to forget the words, even though I know I'm not going to. It's just such like, it means so much to a lot of people, the song, and you don't want to mess up the words when you're singing it for people. In Benzie County, Tom Kramer for Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8.